today we are going to work with collector class methods okay so in our previous class what we have discussed is the introduction regarding collector class what are the methods that is there as part of the collector class that we have seen so now it's the time to work with the example right to understand the concept okay already we have seen what are the methods that is there as part of the collector class that we are going to work out today okay so let me create a class like uh, collectors collectors uh, method test okay i will name the class as collectors method test so here i am going to explain whatever the all the methods like uh, whatever how uh, how much is possible i will show you and uh, let me create the main method to start with the with the example let me here let me take one list of uh, list of string to understand the concept i will take here i will take some uh, simple simple example right so that it will be easy to understand okay and here uh, the list is equals to i will use the arrays arrays dot as list then here i will take for example to one then two okay so here i will take okay let me take okay okay so what what i have done here is like i have taken uh, list of string so then i just wanted to show you first example okay here we'll work with the to list to list method of the collector class uh, and uh, then i will see uh, one by one like uh, two set two set is also there that we are going to see and we'll see one by one okay so now what i am going to do here is like in order to work with the collector class let me first create the stream out of the list list dot stream we, we will uh, this is this is how we can create out of the list this is list is the source here okay so once we have created the stream then what i my intention here is i just wanted to uh, filter out filter out uh, the thing is that the, we, we are going to see these collectors methods right collector dot to list and all these so uh, to make this uh, simple we can show you collect direct uh, we can work with the collectors uh, methods right but here before that i'm just filtering filtering i have already shown you before in the previous class right so um, that i'm doing so what it will do it will take one predicate predicate means uh, if i provide one string is s dot length length method if length greater than three that we are going to uh, take okay so whenever the stream is operated on this filter the, this predicate matches then what it will do the, the string whose length greater than three that will be comes into picture okay then wh what we want after that i want to collect to a list so i have collected so this is the term intermediate operation i am calling the terminal operation and inside the terminal operation again i am calling the collector to, to list in which format we want to accumulate the elements okay so that i am that we are doing here so let me introduce one local variable we'll hold this with local variable and then i just wanted to show you this collect okay so what it will do once this filter has been completed then based on this uh, predicate then i am calling the collector terminal operation which will collect all the elements into a list okay that is the simple use case uh, i am explaining okay if i run you can see the el the elements which is the length is having greater than three that will comes in the list okay as you have seen uh, it is displaying only the only the list having length greater than three okay that is oil and gold this is the first method we have seen
ओके लेट मी सो यू नाउ द नेक्स्ट मेथड दैट इज द टू सेट ओके सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड सिमिलरली आई हैव क्रिएटेड द स्ट्रीम देन फिल्टरिंग द सेम सेम ऑर्डर एंड ओके नाउ दिस टाइम टेक ग्रेटर देन फोर ओके टू डिफरेंशिएट द आउटपुट ओके सो इंस्टेड ऑफ टू लिस्ट व्हाट आई कैन टेक आई कैन टेक टू सेट ओके दिस इज व्हाट इट विल डू इट विल इंस्टेड ऑफ लिस्ट फॉर्मेट व्हाट इट विल डू इट विल कलेक्ट इन द फॉर्मेट ऑफ सेट ओके लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस वन द लोकल वेरिएबल एंड इट विल द कलेक्ट वन एंड हियर आई विल टेक कलेक्ट वन ओके इफ आई रन दिस यू विल सी you will see this is the output based on the our filter condition that we are collecting by using the collector class two set method okay so these are the two methods uh, the list two list method two set method we have seen now it's the time to see two set method similarly two uh, sorry two map method we have two two map is having uh, two overloaded methods we have that we are going to see uh, let me first first show you like let me first show you like the map method okay so here i will copy and i will paste this one and i will collect based on the map okay instead of this list i am going to see to map okay so as you can see two map is having three overloaded methods right one is function function another one is function supplier uh, and binary operator uh, operator Uh, these types of uh, three overloaded methods we have uh, that is there okay so what is the two argument for this one is key another one is value so what i want here is like i just wanted to take the key key as uh, the element whatever the element will get that is the element is the key and uh, the value is this is the function if you give provide the input it will produce me the output okay so here the value is uh we'll take the scope resolution operator string dot length okay so whatever the whatever the string it will come that it is that is the key and string and this is a scope resolution the sorry uh, means this is the method reference that we are using here whatever the it will calculate the method or else or else what we can do we can write that is this is a function right basically this is a function means what we can do function means what we can do we can write uh, s s dot length so this is also we can write string uh, method reference and uh, we can use length that is the way, that is the way we can work with the work with the this one mm, otherwise we can uh, use the function like this only with a lambda okay anything is fine Uh, it is going to work in the same way okay so let me introduce the local variable for that uh, it is going to it is going to be a it is going to a map 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 of string and integer my string why string this is the element is string and the length is the uh, length is the what length is the uh, key okay so if i print here so if i print here collect to collect to the element with element is the key and the whatever the length that is the value that we are going to see okay so let me show you so as you can see uh, see the last element so 7 uh, so what we are filtering based on the length 4 greater than 4 so 7 3 20 so this is the key this is the value this is how we can work with okay so let me show you another overloaded method of map okay okay we have seen only one method of the map variant okay now uh, let me show you another overloaded method of two map okay so here what i am going to do here is like i am going to create one stream out of the list then i am going to collect simple uh, dot dot two map okay two map two map what i am going to pass here is uh, the two map will be Uh, two one is key one other is one other one is value so this time what i am going to take is i am going to take string and length string length is the key and the next parameter is the value value is the element if i take one element that is the element that is the element is the value that is the things i just wanted to take okay these are the two things i just wanted to take and uh, apart from that uh, i just wanted to take another Uh, okay so okay uh, let me let me show you the issue 
then I will introduce the whatever I want to discuss now. Okay, so let me introduce the local variable and uh, that is the things and let me print the collect three. Okay, collect three and here I will take three. Okay, already three. Okay, see uh, what I, what I want to explain here is like one is one when you one the length is three. This is two is also three and uh, this is six also three. So if I am taking if I am taking the string dot length, this is the key. So three the element will be one, then two and six, ten. All these elements will be there. So three. So imagine how it will come. So it will come as three. Then the value is one, and then then key is three. Then this is six. Something like this. It it is there. It will be there inside the map. But uh, you know the map will contain the unique key. The key should not be duplicate. So it will not uh, it will not put into the map so that is why it will throw exception so we'll see what is the error we are getting and then how to rectify that issue how to address that issue we are going to see okay let me first run and show you the issue as you have seen so these three cases that is executed for the above three for this uh, print statement it is throwing duplicate key three attempted merging value one and two okay so this is throwing well throwing uh, error due to duplicate key so first it is stored for the length 3 then second time it is storing the length 3 then it is see that the key is duplicated so that is why it is throwing the exception okay so how to uh, how to resolve this issue okay so for that the java people what they introduced they have introduced a concept like merging the merger what is the merger okay so uh, that we are going to introduce okay what we will do we will take we will take two parameter like uh, this is the old value comma new value then what i am going to do here is like i am just i am just trying to print the old value old value plus then I just wanted to separate I just wanted to separate with colon then plus new value okay so this is the things I just wanted to show you fine okay so what it will do the key will be 3 and value will be instead of instead of the direct the element direct the element what it will do it will instead of this element it will print the old value colon new value what is the intention here is like i just wanted to show the key is 3 but the value is list of value like this is the one value two value three value so this is the merger if i hover on this two map you can see uh, this is the overloaded method overloaded method this is the function collector two map this is the fun first function then mapper mapper and this is the merge, merge merge function okay so what it will do it will merge okay so like if i show you here this is the merge function okay uh, so now if i run now it will it should work fine this is the overloaded of the map method to map method that is i am trying to show you okay so now as you can see three is the key for that value is one two six ten so this is the three length string okay so that is appended uh, like whatever the whatever the value we have specified that is the one okay and another one is the four is the key and four five uh, this is the four and five length length five and three seven twenty this is the things we just we have seen okay so this is how we can over overload the two map method to work whenever there is a class okay there is a class mean there is a whenever there is a collision then in the, this is the way we should uh, rectify we should uh, like uh, resolve the issue okay so if you see the documentation also there is also you will find this uh, two map okay so if i copy this and if i show you the documentation here inside if i search for two map two map function key mapper value mapper two map 
what I want to show here is API node you, you have seen there are multiple ways to deal with the collision what I have told the collision between the multiple elements mapping to the same key okay this is the this is what we just encounter right if this is there is a collision with this mapping with the same key the other form of to map to simplify to use a merge function to throw this unconditionally okay so what it is basically uh, saying that whenever there is a collision you can use this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, resolution so that uh, the whatever the issue you are getting so you can resolve that okay that is what uh, the documentation trying to say and uh, that uh, that that is the same thing we have implemented here okay so this is how we can play around the collectors uh, methods okay so far we have we have discussed two list two set and two map two variant okay so that's all for this video we'll meet in the next video with the new method of the collectors class okay thank you